Imo State Police Command has said that they had met with the Hausa Fulani communities in Okigwe local government area of Imo State for them to live peacefully with their host communities. In a statement to newsmen in Oweri by the State Police Public Relations Officer, Orlando Ikoku, he said that even the traditional rulers from the area were part of the meeting. It stated that the purpose of the meeting was to find a lasting solution to the farmer headers crisis. According to the statement, the Commissioner of Police, Imo State, CP Nasir Mohammed, visited Okigwe local government to interact with the stakeholders and the House of Fulani communities in the zone. The occasion, which took place at the Div Divisional Police Headquarters, Okigwe, on the night of February 2021, had in attendance the traditional rulers, youth leaders, president generals of various town unions, women leaders, House of Fulani community members, farmers, reps of the local government chairperson, councillors, ETC. We charged them to live peacefully with each other and eschew violence, as violence does not do anyone any good. We charged them to promptly and amicably resolve any issue that may rise among them and further commended them for having a very effective committee that dialogues on issues relating to the, to the parties, especially on farmers, headers, conflicts. Finally, the Commissioner of Police urged them to tolerate each other's excesses as that is the only way to peaceful coexistence. The statement added that the representatives of the various groups thanked the Commissioner of Police for finding time to come and interact with them and promised to continue coexisting peacefully. The head of the Hausa community also urged and used the opportunity to thank the people of the area for being good landlords. As he said, he had lived there for over 30 years without any issues, and that any issue that arose had always been settled amicably. A cross-section of the Okibe community leaders, Fulani houses, leaders during a peace meeting with the police has said to have baked a fruitful ending. All right, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story? As it were, this is seen as a move to actually uh, douse the tension that the crisis of the headers and uh, farmers have actually raised in recent time and the Imo State Police Commissioner has said that this move was to ensure that peace continue to reign and that the people live peacefully with their host communities. Well, it remains to be seen if uh, the meeting will yield fruitful results and if the people will abide by this particular agreement with uh, the host communities. But however, we keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold. Well, it is a good one and uh, it should be commended. You know, the meeting or the efforts to put this meeting together should be commended as it is a good one and an uh, interesting one as it were. Be that as it were, guys, what are your thoughts? Do you think that this uh, meeting would yield fruitful results? and that the people will be able to address themselves or conduct themselves rather the Fulani headsmen will be able to conduct themselves peacefully and live peacefully with their host communities but be that as it were to a very large extent that might just uh, be the way forward
if they can keep to this agreement and continue to uh, maintain peace and uh, tranquility uh, with their host communities. Well, it is what it is. These are part of the efforts that is expected from various uh, stakeholders in this country, starting from the federal government to the state government, the local government, the monarchs, and uh, the all stakeholders as it were. They ought to come together and address this issue squarely so that the issue of um, violence, crisis, riots, and all that will be nipped into the board or be put behind them. Well, guys, it is what it is. What are your thoughts concerning this particular news story? Leaders of the headsmen are, have been meeting. While it is being reported that some of them have actually uh, decided to relocate back to the north, some are still uh, around, uh, staying back in the host communities as they do not plan to relocate anywhere. Well, it is what it is. We keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold on this particular mystery as it were. If only this particular uh, issue can be resolved, to a very large extent, the country will remain peaceful and the call for peaceful coexistence would be meaningful and uh, everybody will definitely to a very large extent uh, willfully and uh, easily uh, cohabit with each other but with the way things are going and the government backing some people and uh, not minding other regions it's going to be difficult for this issue to be easily uh, settled but however in the absence of uh, a federal solution to this problem other means uh, other steps taken by relevant stakeholders to address this issue uh, is still a very welcome and commendable um, means so but well, we keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold on this particular issue and we just hope that you know things will improve and that the killer headsmen will be fished out uh, so that farmers can return to their farms people can you know go back to their activities in their villages and communities without threats to their lives and uh, the women without threats of being raped and uh, being robbed and all what have you well it's what it is guys we keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold on this particular news story as it were well drop by at the comment section let's know what your thoughts are don't forget to subscribe to this channel kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories Endeavor to share these news stories with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support. And I'll see you on the other news. Thank you and bye for now.